What if I tell you, you can find hundreds of potential customers automatically with just one click of a button? Yes. And in this video, I will show you how exactly you can do this. We will be building an AI agent that scrapes leads directly from Google search and logs them neatly into the Google sheet. And guess what? We will not be getting banned with captcha or bot detection because we are going to use official Google search API. First, let me show you how a human will do it. You search this on Google and go to advanced search, select the language, your preferred language. Let's say we are going to see English in region. You can select, let's say United States. And we want results that were updated in last one year. And you can also optionally choose any specific website you want to search from and get on search. Now you see, we got one email right here and one email right here and so on. You can copy and paste it into a Google sheet, something like this, and you will create yourself some leads. Now, here is an AI agent that will do it for you. It will take the input what kind of niche you are looking for. It will then search on Google and guess what? It will loop through multiple pages. It will scrape that data. And here in this part, it will filter those data and reorganize them that could be easily logged into the sheet. And here we are going to log it into the sheet. And in the end, you are going to have something like this. If I remove this and execute this workflow, here it is searching Google and then it is parsing the results into a suitable format that can be logged into the sheet. And now it is entering all the details, all the 18 items into the sheet. So you see it is appending all the data into this sheet. You see, we got 19 leads for dentists in LA just by scraping two pages. And now I'm going to show you how you can build this automation yourself. We will start with this execute node and then we are going to need a set node. Here we are defining our niche and the number of pages in Google we are going to scrape. Let's execute it and move on to the next step where we are going to use a code node and we are going to use this piece of code which will simply give you the start index from where you need to search on Google on every page. Then we are going to loop over these start indexes. Coming to the important part where we are going to use a HTTP request node which we will use to do the Google search and no, this will go into the loop and we will replace this and this will go here. Now what we need to do here, we need to use this URL. This is the custom search URL, which I will show you in a couple of minutes how you can get your own. Now we will pass a bunch of query which we will be using. First, we will be using the niche from this edit field node as our query. You see it says dentist and then we will define the exact terms which we will be using gmail.com and this parameter will give you which language you want your data. Then we are going to define which country the data should be from. Now we will filter from last one year. So this is some pattern that Google uses Y1, M1, D1. So this we are going to use this represent last one year. If we say two, it represent last two years. We also need to pass a start index in each search, which will be changing based on the loop progression. And we need our API key as well as the search engine ID. Now, these two are the important thing that you need to start using this API. Let's see how we can get these. Head to Google Cloud Console and go to API and services. First, we will create the API key, which you can do by going into the credentials section. Click on create credentials, select API key and give your API key a name. We are going to call it demo 
and if you do not restrict the api you will get a warning but it is still usable but if you are only going to use it for custom search apis you can just restrict the api and say custom search api and select it and that's it and click on create now that your api key is created just copy it and add it to this key query parameter now we need a search engine id which we will be using for our search to create the search engine id just search for custom search in google and select the custom search api if you have not enabled it it will give you an option to enable it here and once you click enable click on try this api you will be forwarded to this documentation this is pretty good documentation explaining what this api is and how to use it you are going to click on this programmable search engine this is going to redirect you to the custom search engine control panel and here you can add your search engine demo engine i'm going to call it now here you can say what specific websites you want to search on we want to search on entire web you can say you want to search only on linkedin or any other website which you think is suitable for your purpose just click this and create once you have it right here is your search engine id copy this and add it here and now if you execute this node you will get this beautiful json of the search result now what we are going to do is extract the important part from this huge json chunk once your loop is completed we are going to use this code node again which will be aggregating all the results and only extracting the important items that we are going to need like title and the snippet part which will contain this specific part now execute this step and we will have a beautiful set of titles and a snippet which we can use to parse and extract these emails with name and addresses now let's use the basic llm chain to parse our result for the source of prompt select define below and add this this is a very curated prompt that is giving this llm role of data extraction and transformation expert and we are giving input result of the arrays of the extracted title and snippets make sure you use this json stringify what this will do is this will make this array into a string so that will be much easier for ai to understand and extract the information we are giving it instructions to only give us the unique emails and if there is no email we don't want it if there is no phone number or address that's fine we can still use it for our ai model let's say we use open ai chat model and 4.1 should be enough for this purpose let's execute this and you see we have this json stringified version we are going to use an output parser so that we can rely on our output we will use this non deprecated structured output parser node here we will just define the examples of what kind of data is accepted name email phone is accepted name email address is accepted name email phone is accepted it will see that email is common in all these examples and we will say auto fix the format for the given input for this it will use the same ai model and do this job so let's try to run this again now we got the output with name email phone address the email is common everywhere and wherever possible we got the addresses and other data as well now that we have it we need to log it into our sheet now before we proceed we need to split our result into different items which can be added to the sheet individually once i do this we got 20 items all individually can be added to the sheet we will add the loop node again now let's connect our sheet node and use it to append rows we'll be choosing the right credentials and right sheet and the sheet name and then we will be appending all the columns
And for niche, we can just use our edit field and niche. But you notice we are getting this error. This is because item is going to be changed every time the loop go to the next iteration. So we are going to always use the first input. And since this is going to be constant every time, we can rely on this. And we execute this step. And this one entry should be added to our Google Sheet here. Similarly, now if I execute this complete workflow, within a minute, we got ourselves some more leads. Pretty amazing, right? And now here are some important parts to keep in mind. You can define the number of pages and it will loop over into those many pages only. And our custom search API gives only 100 count per day for free. After that, you will get a small charge. And 100 should be enough to get us thousands of leads. Now remember this page. Here you can find the list reference where you can find which query parameter you can use for what kind of things and design your own search engine that is perfect for your specific task. Now you can hook this AI agent with your other AI agents which can qualify leads and run your email campaigns which I will be covering in upcoming videos so make sure you subscribe and please let me know if you found this video helpful. See you next time.